Hello, I hope you're having a great week so far. You're joining me today for a windy, rainy speed build of this isolated cottage on one of my sky islands. If you haven't seen my first video on this called The Water Witch, then just to get you up to speed with my plan for this series, I am creating a giant village up in the clouds. There's going to be loads of community areas, houses, buildings, all up on these little sky islands. They're all gonna join together and it's just gonna be a really nice, magical community living up in the clouds. This speed build is for a recluse who is into their books and they don't really like to leave the house much. So I wanted to channel this with a bit more of a gloomy vibe inside. They've also got a little book nook um, in their living room, which I think is really cozy. But I have gone for a slightly darker palette for the exterior and the interior, just to try and get the house to mimic the character of the isolated, introverted person that would live there. It took me so many attempts to get that last sentence right because it felt like a tongue twister. But with this house, I ended up breaking everything down and redoing it, including the roof and the shape of the house. I don't know what I was doing with these blocks. They looked awful together and the shape of the house was just not it. It looked horrendous. So I do go for a darker roof and I actually change the style of the roof as well. And it kind of reminds me of the mystery shack from Gravity Falls, if you guys have seen that, that kind of like tall sloping roof but the roof looks so much better and i think the polished granite looks really good with it and having the mud brick i think they're mud bricks anyway um going up along the door and the window at the front it just adds a nice bit of detail the outside is quite literally just bushes and leaves so i didn't bother filming that but you guys will see it at the end of this video now, I'm not a fan of poppies in real life, but I thought that the red really helped to provide some contrast and colour in this build, so I just popped some of those around. I also wanted a pop of colour in the kitchen. While I normally go for oak or spruce counters, I thought I'm going to try going with blue terracotta this time. Really liked how it turned out, actually, and I added a blue oven from either Mayflowers or Erstwhile CIT, and while it's not exactly the same colour as the terracotta, I think it's a pretty close match. I've tried to keep the kitchen along with the other rooms in the house quite uncluttered because I think the person that lives here would be quite organised and tidy and pop their things away so I have kept the clutter to a minimum. Adding that extra window on the left hand side wall was the best decision I could have made for that kitchen because it really helps to open up the space and why wouldn't you want loads of windows to look out of while you're cooking, especially when you've got beautiful nature surrounding you. I've only ever been to Edinburgh in Scotland but I feel like this house would be perfect nestled in the Scottish Highlands or in the countryside somewhere, especially when it's raining and very cloudy and grey. I feel like this would be the perfect house just to spend your time in in that sort of weather. I really wanted to avoid the downstairs looking like a long narrow room so I do pop up a wall between the entryway and the lounge. I think it looks really nice and it also gives me that separation between the rooms which I think was definitely needed. Instead of putting the ladder right up against the wall I used some barrier blocks to create a separation between the wall and the ladder and it made it just look like it was hanging. I think I've seen either Blishin or Sherry Luna do this in their builds before but it adds a really nice touch. I placed down a ladder from Ferncraft, which I thought could be used to grab high up books, like you might see in a library. And I set down a little seat which slotted in perfectly to that bay window. I could definitely see myself sitting on that chair, drinking a hot chocolate or an Earl Grey tea while watching the rain outside. I'm gonna say goodbye and leave you in peace, but I really hope you guys love this video as always. And please do let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any suggestions for future builds or even anything I could build for the Sky Island series, whether it is a house or a public area. I would love any comments that you guys could give me and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.